We've just spoken with a woman who described how three Russian soldiers pulled her by her hair out of the road and into an empty house. She said they then stripped her naked. Two of them proceeded to rape her while the third shot at her head on either side so that she couldn't move away. The trauma is very raw still. It's only been a year and many of the victims of these attacks are not comfortable speaking to the police about what has happened to them. When the Russians withdrew their forces in spring last year, civilians living in these villages and towns began to share horrific stories of their life under occupation. Men, women and children have reported sexual assault and rape. Prosecutors are now trying to piece together the crimes that were committed here. We're on our way to meet Irina Dodenko, the lead prosecutor for sexual violence in this conflict. She's told us that cases have been identified in every region occupied by Russian soldiers, with victims aged between 4 and 82. Правді відбувалося те, що з перших днів відбувається гвалтування з метою знищення людини, в принципі, як такої. Тривають, і ми знаємо чітко, що навіть зараз, і чим довше під окупацією ці території, тим більше таких тортур. Наразі погодилося працювати з слідством тільки за інформаційної згоди, і ми маємо на сьогодні 156 фактів, по яким проводиться розслідування. Сім підозрюваних ми вже встановили, чотири обвинувальних акти направлено до суду, є один вирок національного суду, і це 12 років позбавлення волі. Люди себе відчувають, по-перше, по-різному все ж таки, але що травмован кожен – це 100%. І нам навіть психологи розказують, що лише на п'ятий, шостий сеанс може людина взагалі починати хоча б говорити на тему сексуального насильства. Тому ми готові чекати, скільки буде потрібно нашим громадянам, тому що їхні свідчення є безцінними, і ми раді тому, що вони вижили. Dozens of men have also reported sexual abuse and rape within Russian detention centers. One elderly man was unable to take this torture and attempted to take his own life. We spoke to a 56-year-old who was detained in Kherson for eight days in November. Ніхто не може мене бити в пах. Бити мене можна, в пах мене бити не можна. Після цього мене спустили штани вниз. І шокером дали, извините, по яйцям. Я потеряв сознання і обоссався. Наталія – це психологіст, працює в регіоні. She treats 17 patients who were raped by Russian soldiers under occupation. The youngest is just five years old. Women uh, who were raped uh, by uh, Russian soldiers uh, live with this terrible, uh, terrible life. And uh, nowadays uh, uh, they continue uh, to feel uh, um, very um, terrible uh, symptoms, uh, for example, uh, they have flashbacks, uh, nightmares, um, they uh, have panic attacks uh, and uh, so another uh, trauma symptoms. Now I'm working with uh, 17 uh, people uh, and uh, some of them are two teenagers, uh, 14 years old and uh, one girl, five years old. Why this woman? Uh, don't apply to the police uh, and uh, it's very difficult question neighbors uh, or relatives uh, will uh, know this information and uh, has very very shy uh, don't want to feel uh, and uh, don't want to uh, remember uh, these uh, traumatic symptoms these traumatic acts and uh, because uh, they don't speak about it Tracking sexual violence perpetrators is challenging enough in peacetime. 
but when they are a member of an opposing army and access to records, names and battle plans are limited, it becomes infinitely more difficult. So far, only 11 alleged perpetrators have been identified and only one man has been found guilty.